here we will come across the important concept like why transformer is a constant core flux device and why transformer is called as negative feedback circuit now let's see that if suppose this is the input voltage applied to the primary winding of transformer and as primary winding is closed the circuit so current will flow and let that primary current be i1 and as current flows in the primary winding then there will be flux phi1 which is of alternating nature because here input voltage is of alternating nature and according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction as this is the stationary conductor and uh, the flux is alternating so there will be an EMF induced in primary winding that induced EMF we are representing with E1 which is equal to N1 d phi1 by dt where N1 represents the primary number of turns and as this flux phi1 links with the secondary winding of transformer then there is an EMF induced in the secondary winding of transformer which we represented with E2 which is equal to N2 d phi1 by dt and now as the load is connected there is a current flowing in the secondary winding of transformer let that be I2 now as current is flowing in the secondary winding of transformer then there will be flux phi2 and that flux phi2 will flow towards this direction that is opposite to the primary flux please keep in mind that windings ought to be wound like this that is phi1 and phi2 direction must be opposite to each other as now flux phi2 is opposing the flux phi1 then there is a decrease in the flux phi1 which will obviously decrease the induced emf e1 but to maintain e1 transformer will drag more input current from the input supply and that extra current which is drawn from the input supply to maintain E1 is represented with I2 dash that is I1 is equal to no load current plus I2 dash because without load there is a current in the primary winding that is I0 and because of placing load there is an extra current which is I2 dash and together we are representing with I1 and now because of this extra I2 dash there is a flux phi2 dash which is equal and opposite to that of phi2 as phi2 dash and phi2 are equal and opposite to each other they both get cancelled and the flux only that remained in the core is phi1 so is why transformer is said to be the constant core flux device so whatever the load that you place according to that there will be flux phi2 and according to that the transformer will drag extra current from the input supply so that there is a flux phi2 dash as phi2 and phi2 dash are equal and opposite to each other they both get cancelled and the flux only that remain in the core is phi1 so respect of load the flux in the transformer core is constant so is why transformer is said to be a constant core flux device and now let's understand why it is also called as negative feedback circuit we know that if this is the input signal and let this be the system transfer function and let this be the output signal if output signal is fed back to the input signal and if the feedback signal is decreasing the input then that type of system is called as negative feedback circuit and if the feedback signal is aiding the input then that type of system is called as positive feedback system and coming to the case of transformer observe that input here is flux phi1 and output flux is phi2 and flux phi2 is fed back to the input and uh, as flux phi2 is decreasing the flux phi1 so is why this system comes under negative feedback circuit therefore transformer can also be called as negative feedback circuit